Fellas, I am recording this audio at approximately 9.12 Eastern, February the 15th. Now, you may be wondering, Cross, why are you giving us the exact time and date? That's because by the time this video comes out, things inside of Helldivers 2 may have already changed. Fellas, today we're going to be talking about the future of Helldivers. Many of you have been coming by the stream asking, what's the future of Helldivers 2? Is it a live game? Am I going to be coming back to play it after I initially level up? What is the end game? Which is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to take this moment to actually shout out our Discord. The reason why I'm doing this, there's a number of you that have been looking for fellow Hell Divers to do runs with, and the matchmaking inside of Hell Divers is pretty bad. So, if you are looking for a team, down below will be a link to our Discord. You can join, and we have an LFG, which means looking for group, that you can go directly to and find other fellow Hell Divers. With that being said, let's talk about the future of this game. Now, it's been over a week since we started blasting aliens and robots in the name of Liberty, and to please General Brash. We've successfully completed our first major order by liberating the terminate infested planets Heath and Angel's Venture. Now, in that process, we got 10 grand to spend on whatever orbital stratagems we want. It's more likely to kill more teammates and bugs. But we got an update in the game. Quote, the path to the barrier planets is clear. Upon each barrier planet, Seaf engineers have begun construction of the terminate control system, a network of massive towers that will cover each planet in the well-tested neurotoxin known as termicide. Soon, our citizens will be able to rest easy knowing that their children are safe from the threat of being eaten alive and that's great news and all but now we've got a brand new major order to undergo as a whole as the automatons have launched cowardly surprise attacks on multiple highly populated super earth planets the community's next task is to now push back the invasion guys do you understand what's happening here more planets unlock as we complete more of these tasks in game but more so than that this is a live game like truly a live game imagine instead of the darkness showing up and taking Io and all those other planets, but we had a consistent back and forth war with the Witness and his forces. That's essentially what's happening here. Granted, we are fighting a war on two fronts, but that's the beauty of this game. It is a live game, which takes us to the broader future of Helldivers. What do the developers have planned for this game? What are the kinds of updates and content can we expect to see as this game progresses? These are the questions for the game masters to answer. Guys, you know how tabletop games have dungeon masters or game masters that kind of over see the players and create instances and stories for them. Well, Helldivers 2 has game masters. It's a mixture of tools and real people that decide on a micro and macro level what happens to the live game. And this is all going to be based on player and community successes as well as failures. That's right. There are consequences. We lose a planet. If we are not able to fight off that invasion, there will be consequences. Now, the reason why this is so beautiful is that this is not scripted. This is something that the developers and the game masters have control over. Kind of reminds me of like Hunger Games, right? Where the game maker will just start to spice things up for the hell of it. But let's talk about what game masters are doing already within Helldivers 2 and what the future possibilities look like and what long-term content plans Arrowhead Game Studio has for the game. Now, before we go any further, I want to mention this quote here from the developers. And this is how bold they are. This was literally posted on their website. A game for everyone is a game for no one. You see, a lot of people are coming out and saying what they don't like about the game. Maybe they don't like the solo experience and they're asking asking for changes to be made to appeal to them. And this is the developer's reply. And I gotta say, fellas, I love it. I love this statement. Now, the Game Master system inside of Helldivers 2 is something that the developers have been working hard on because they want to put the live in live service. Again, as someone who's played Destiny 2 for years, look, there's a lot of things I love about Destiny. But what I don't like is that everything feels very scripted. The narrative, the live game itself, everything is very much on the tracks and not ever really deviating. The developers here, though, they wanted to have a feature that would allow changes to be made to the game in a very direct, almost instantaneous way, and to react to how the community is playing. These game masters aren't just tools either. In an interview with PlayStation Access, game director Cigar Baroshi explains, it's a suite of tools and a suite of real life human beings, not just AI bots, that is observing the gameplay as it's happening and responding in real time. These are things like the buffs or debuffs we're seeing in the game currently, things like the free incinerating minefield stratagem that everyone had access to yesterday, or even the weather on certain planets like rain lowering visibility or intense heat that makes your weapons overheat faster. Again, these are things that greatly affect your ability in combat. These are examples of what the game master is able to implement based on how well or how badly the community is doing within the live game. Now, where we're going to see this come into play more noticeably is on the macro scale. And this is when the game changes and updates based on whether or not the community is able to succeed at major orders. Now, this also ties into the story of Helldivers 2. And the devs do have a plan for it. But because the entire 
majority of the game's progression is community driven. It's really up in the air as to how that story will play out. Game writer Stephen Flowers had this to say about the player driven story. What's unique about the story of Helldivers 2 is that it's driven by the player community. Planning for that is a huge challenge. We have what we think will happen, but we ultimately can't control what the players do, which as a player I find cool, but as a writer I find really scary. As for the story ahead, all I can say is that the galaxy would look very different than it does today. Now when the game started a week ago, right off the bat we were fighting a war on two fronts. The Automatons on one side and the Terminants on the other. But our major order only had us liberating the two Terminant infested planets, so the Automaton planets were left alone for the most part while we pushed back the bugs. Now we have four new bug planets to liberate with all new biomes, but now the Automatons have pushed forward and moved closer to Super Earth, putting millions of citizens in grave danger. Based on what game director Sabar says here, this is something we should expect to happen regularly, but it sounds like there's way more possibilities. This is a quote from him. The enemies also have goals. They will look at what you've done, respond to the way in which you as the community have behaved, and react in a way that changes the face of the galaxy thereafter. So if you're clearing the way to some planets you have to get to, and you take over the next territory in the next one, it's hard to say what the enemies might do in response. They might try to circle around, or meet you head on, or do something else. Now the beautiful thing here, guys, is that there is no reset. There's no like, hey, it's Tuesday, we're going into our next chapter of content. It's not like we do these challenges and all of a sudden we have to wait to reset for things to update. No, this happens, guys, in real time. Now, Sabar also goes on to say that as the story progresses, as Helldivers push back enemy forces or enemy forces push back the Helldivers, new unique missions might appear, things you never encountered before, and much more. This is outside of new game updates or content drops. This is simply the game masters progressing the game due to community play. Now, we're already seeing this in week two as new defend campaigns have opened up on two new automaton invaded planets with new missions like evacuating civilians or escorting researchers to evacuation zones. So I know I've gone on and on here about the game masters, but it's a really cool feature. And if Helldivers 2 can master this and truly make the game feel live as a live game should feel, then this is going to be the future for other live service games. Look, I'm not saying that I want more live service games, and I know the debate going on about live service games, but if you're going to do a live service game, then do it right. This is how you do it right. Now, there was another quote from Baroshi. Quote, the war that you're playing in plays out almost in real time. It's not like in a few weeks the war is going to be over. Players who join us from day one are going to experience the full story. They'll see everything as Super Earth, as arrogant as it is, digs itself into deeper and deeper problems. Now, could those deeper problems be new enemies? Most likely. There is an enemy faction that exists in Helldivers 1, one we haven't seen yet, the Illuminate. The Illuminate are an ancient and technologically advanced alien civilization that threatens Super Earth with its formidable weapons of mass destruction back during the events of the first game. Now, we've heard nothing of this mysterious alien race so far within Helldivers 2. Could they be an upcoming addition to the game's story as we inevitably dig ourselves into deeper and deeper trouble? This brings us to what we do know about future content updates for the game. We know that all future content will be free, which is huge. And via the official Helldivers Discord, we know that the content updates will include new weapons, new gear, new stratagems, new biomes, and new enemies. So we can see that Helldiver 1 faction coming into play. It's also been speculated that we're going to be seeing a dune-like sandworm enemy that was also present in the first game. Imagine a terminant boss fight against a giant sandworm as it tunnels through the ground. It can happen. We also know that a roadmap is in the works, and that will be showcased once stability and server issues have been fixed. That seems to be the priority issue for the devs here. Now, during one of the Hell Diver 2 trailers, we also got a tease of a mech-like vehicle that we will be able to operate. And it said that it was coming soon after launch. Now, vehicles is a game changer. Now, keep in mind, guys, we still haven't seen everything the game has to offer technically in its current form because so much of the content depends on us as the community either succeeding or even failing. So on top of all the new features and updates, we'll have things just unlock and happen as time goes on thanks to our efforts and how the game masters respond to them. In the meantime, Helldivers creative director said that they are actually looking for more amazing developers that can help us accelerate and beef up our content plans. Jobs will be going up soon, but if you're a senior dev, there's always the open application. Enlist today with Arrowhead GS. You love to see it, guys. I know there's been layoffs already at the beginning of the year, but that's a great sign for the future of this game. They realize that the game is off to a great start and they're willing to invest more people to this project. Now, as for the future of Helldivers 2, it looks bright. Currently, I'm still not tired of the game yet or tired of the content. I've got four new planets to go explore and liberate that weren't available last week. I've got a new major order to help complete. I've got a number of ship upgrades I still need to do and a hell of a long battle pass to complete. It's so incredibly rare for a live service game to be this good at launch. I really do hope it lasts. Definitely stay tuned as we'll be covering any big news and drops for Helldivers 2 
As soon as we get the roadmap, we'll also be going over that, as well as any new updates or content drops. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.